Hello there, my name is Jacob Mushokwa, currently driving the Bike X55 Beijing. Just under a year ago, this car was released. Very unique looking, in fact, quite futuristic looking. Let me take you through some parts of this car, the highs and of course the lows. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Who am I? Whoever you are, with budget you could save 420 per month. So the Chinese manufacturers have always had a bit of a footprint in South Africa, but it's been growing exponentially over the past few years. And when you look at the brand Bike, You've seen some of the other cars, but what makes this one so special is the unique design. In fact, this car is so uniquely designed. There's so many people who keep asking me, does that car have an electric engine? Does it even have a normal internal combustion engine? And my advice to the guys in China would be, you need an electrified version of the Baik X55 Beijing, just because of how it looks. But this one obviously isn't. It's equipped with a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine. It has around 130 kilowatts of power, 305 newton meters of torque. And you know what? It's adequate. When I need it to zip around the city, it zips around adequately. And when I put it on eco mode and I want to cruise to the countryside, it does it, it does it quite right. So it has a seven speed dual clutch gearbox and this gearbox mated with this 1.5 litre engine, I think it's gonna give its Chinese competitors a go. There's a few driver modes to choose from in the X55 Beijing. You got comfort, you got eco, you got sport and you have smart. I'm currently in sport and it's zesty, it's punchy. Let's feel it around the bends. I do like how the steering wheel stiffened up and when I do turn or get into a corner, it does feel like it's holding me. It's, it, it feels like it's, it's lowered. Oh wow, hey X55 Beijing. Let's feel the braking. Very responsive when it comes to braking. I mean, the roads at the cradle are just so nice to navigate a car like this. So even if you do have the family and you're dashing on the school run, you might actually have found uh, the perfect little SUV to do that with. The overall feel of quality in the car is second to none. I mean, the dashboard doesn't feel like cheap and tacky, very cool looking sports seats, almost reminiscent of a German sports car. In fact, the sports seats in this car have ventilated cooling. So perfect for a high felt summer. The complete opposite for a high felt winter too. They've also got seat warmers. So minus three degrees are actually pure bliss in a car like this. The steering wheel immediately jumps out as a premium item. The perforated leather and red stitching gives it such an upmarket feel that it makes you feel quite special in the driver's seat. Then there's the dual screen setup. The instrument cluster is a fully digital affair, clearly showing RPM, speed, current gear and the outside temperature. The second screen is an all-touch affair, but it would have been far easier to use had they added just a few physical buttons for, say, the volume or even the climate control, rather than having to dig through the menus to complete simple functions. I connected my phone via Bluetooth quite easily. The car doesn't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Switching between station and my music and selecting a track or radio station was quite simple. It comes with three USB ports and I've just realized the glove compartment is actually cooled when you need it to be cool. And I look at the air vents as well in terms of the setup. It's not something I've seen before, but it's also so unique to the Baik brand. And how cool is the ambient lighting? Look at that. 
There's an array of colors to choose from and I'm just gonna choose something like that. <laughs> Cause yellow is very cool. Just like ambient lighting, the X55 Beijing has ambient sound for every time you choose a different driver mode. So, from sport mode, here I go to comfort. There we go. And then when I choose eco, ah, eco is like, you gotta take it easy when you're driving, right? It gives you that take it easy flow. And then when you go to smart, okay, sounds like futuristic. And then sport, my favorite, listen to this. Whoa, it feels like a transformer and it looks like a transformer. Now that I'm in sports mode, I think I got to transform to see how fast I can drive. So there's another thing on the interior of the car which I actually don't understand. So it's got this amazing floating gear shifter and gear selector and a really small cup holder, but then the floating goes a bit too much because there's an unnecessary gap here. How much space do you actually need in terms of storage space as a driver? Uh, that's one of the things that I don't really understand. And I will offer you a Gusheshe t-shirt to the first person who comments on where the hazards are in a bike X55 Beijing. Are you taking up my challenge? So first one to comment to let me know where they are because I still haven't found them. I'll make sure the guys at cars.coza get you a Gusheshe t-shirt. So just like any SUV, we have to do the stringent boot space check. The X55 Beijing comes with an electric tailgate. At a touch of a button, the boot opens. And there's also this part. You gotta widen it yourself to open it. I find it a bit awkward, but maybe they were thinking that they don't want it to hit the top of your garage, but that's a story for another day. I just don't like it. We don't have our cooler box, but we do have a really cool duffel bag with a lot of money. You can at least fit about five or six duffel bags with a lot of money. Space saver wheel, 60-40 split. A very cool parcel shelf to cover up all your millions. And at a touch of a button, I'm done. Not entirely sure where to go next, so bike for now. <laughs> So we're in the back seat of the X55 Beijing. Very roomy, very comfortable. I mean, I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm a pretty average sized guy, but I'm very comfortable. My knees are not knocking the driver's seat at all. The ambient light continues in the car as well. So if I need color change on the ambient light, I can do that. Maybe with a snap of a finger, ha, the color changes as well. And then in terms of seat belts, the middle seat has a proper seat belt. It's literally not those small little gizmo seat belts. It's a really nice seat belt. And it's got a really nice armrest. Maybe if I want some water, ha, can I have a sip of water. And I can put it here. And it sits quite comfortably, so no issues. USB charging point is a single one, meaning, um, yeah, there will be a fight when it comes to USB chargers, but the second USB charger is in the armrest, so you could share a USB charger with a driver. That's okay, nothing wrong with that. Panoramic sunroof continues here in the back as well, so it means if you need the light, you can get the light. Ooh, there's so many nice things about this car that makes the back seat just as nice, even if you're not the driver. Decent sound system as well. I saw the speakers, they sound great. They, they work. I mean, in terms of you trying to get some sound here at the back, if you've got the power of the iPhone Bluetooth guy and you're playing the music, ah, you are actually second to being the best person in the car. If you're playing the music with a Bluetooth and you're sitting in the back, ha, ah, driver, you can just keep driving, man. Take me home. I actually like the back. It's actually quite nice. Ah, ah. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Hey, driver, you're on the ball, eh? On the ball, driver, hey. Keep driving, driver.
So I've been cruising about the entire day in the X55 Beijing and one thing that I did notice is the fuel consumption. It's on par with a lot of its uh, competitors in the range. Um, I've been doing around 10 liters per 100 Ks. I think it's pretty decent for any high felt driver because you know high felt drivers want to get there really quick. <laughs> So the Beijing comes with a 5-year, 150,000-kilometer warranty and it comes with a 5-year, 60,000-kilometer service plan. Of course, things like where to service the car and what type of assistance you can get are those sort of things that any buyer would think of. With bike growing so rapidly in South Africa, it shouldn't be an issue finding a dealership that's closest to you. So in the region of around 450,000 Rand to 500,000 Rand, I would recommend or even say any person who's thinking at growing the family and they want to get out of the younger boy racer hot hatch and they're looking for something that's more family orientated, the X55 Beijing is one of those cars you'd look at. I mean, I would look at that if I was looking at growing the family. Other cars you might consider as rivals to the X55 might be SUVs like the Haval Jolion and the new Omoda C5, which we have videos on and will leave a link to in the description below. If you are after something a bit more traditional, then the VW T-Roc is about the same size as the X55, but expect to pay a bit more for one of those. So if you need any more information, check out cars.co.za. Our esteemed colleague Dave the Car Guy wrote a launch piece on this car. So if you're looking for detailed analysis and what he thought on the car, it's worth checking out. And then use the cars.coza app, of course, to be able to compare this car to any other car in the range. What do you think of what bike is doing in South Africa? Do you like their cars? Do you not like their cars? What do you think of the pure design of the X55 Beijing? Look, from my side, this design is second to none. I gotta give it the thumbs up. Cars.coza. Not only is Cars.coza the best place to find your dream car, but it's also the easiest place to sell your current car. Check out the sell car section on our main website. Simply list your car's details and all of our dealers will take bids on your car. You just choose the highest price. Boom, your car's gone. On to your next one. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm finished now. Get insurance that pays out faster than the word Archie. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans.